Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm Andrew with GC Termite Control and today I'm going to try to help you prepare for your upcoming fumigation. So we're going to be talking about pets like cats, dogs, fish, um, and pretty much all other kinds of pets. Um, the most important rule during a fumigation of course is remove all of your pets. Uh, any living pet that is left behind it, it might suffer a very inconvenient death so that's why this is a very important step. Um, of course talk to your technician, uh, your fumigator uh, before your process begins so that they can give you exact instructions. This is just general information but I will try to cover some that hopefully will help you uh, from headaches in the future. Okay so uh, first and foremost cats those are going to be one of the most important ones. Um, they like to hide. They don't like weird noises. Uh, so it is very important that you prepare your pet, your cat, uh, before we even get there or the fumigator gets there. Uh, why is that? They they like to hide and if we get there and the guys, let's say, they start walking on the roof or they start putting the tarps and he goes into hiding, it might be very hard for you to get it or even worse, you know, if you get very busy with everything because, you know, you have to be bagging items, you have to be uh, leaving your home. Uh, so if you're busy with that, you might forget. And again, it, something very inconvenient could happen. So cats especially, make sure to remove them from the property before we even get there. Uh, we don't even recommend having them on the outside um, because they do like to tend to try to get back into the home so they could rip through one of the tarps or get under the tarp and uh, we don't want that to happen. So cats very importantly make sure to remove them before we get there. Okay uh, dogs very similar situation they're not as streaky uh, you know they might like to hide or they're probably gonna be barking more you know uh, they're like by the front to the guys so uh, in there I would say more for safety make sure that you know nobody gets beaten or anything like that uh, just put away your dog remove him uh, from the property because he won't be able to stay in the property um, for the process either way so uh, the more uh, the easier you make it for them, the less stress they're going to be having and uh, the more easy it's going to go on them as well. Uh, fish, another very important uh, pet. The, those ones they do need to be removed as well. Uh, in some situations it is very hard to remove them but you know every effort has to be made uh, to try to do that. Some people like to bag around the... the uh, the fish so that the fumigant doesn't get inside of the tank but uh, you know it ha from from what I've heard there's very mixed results so I wouldn't recommend it it's better if you can remove uh, your fish from uh, their tank alrighty so that goes for kind of all other pests you know iguanas if you got tarantulas uh, you know pretty much everything else uh, you make sure to remove it uh, before we go to the property uh, that way there's gonna be less inconvenience and it's gonna run a little bit smoothly alrighty uh, of course again talk to your technician that is the most important step I am just here to provide you a little bit of information uh, but as a disclaimer you know I'm not your fumigator so I don't know the exact situation so make make sure to talk to him tell him about everything that's going on the pets that you have and everything and uh, he, I'm pretty sure he'll give you further instruction on how to deal with it if I'm your fumigator make sure to give me a call and I'll make sure to answer all of your questions uh, or phone number is 619-421-2101 or you can visit us online at gctermitecontrol.com all right i hope you have a great rest of your day